Hello everyone, back with another video today, and today um, I'm going to be doing something different, and I'm going to teach you guys how to make a smoke bomb in Minecraft, and I'm trying to figure out how to make this for my server, and this is one way I came up with, I'm not going to use it though because it's not really that efficient for my server, but I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys how to make it in case you guys want to make it in your own world and test it out, test it out with friends, I don't know. Um, so you can either do this with a snowball or an egg. I don't care whichever one you want to use. If you're going to use an egg, though, you're going to have to add in one command block. And that would be this one right here. You're going to have to add in this one because if you throw an egg, sometimes chickens will spawn. And in order to get rid of them, I just TP them into the void below, like this i practically just tp them down here and then they die <laughs> but okay so practically okay hold on let me go ahead and place some dirt back here and all you're gonna need is command box and a repeater that's literally all you're gonna need well 10 command box to be precisely and then one repeater so um so for the first one you're gonna have to do slash test for egg if i'm going too fast for you guys you can go ahead and pause the video Put it on repeat and oops put it on repeat and always active and type oh and by the way this is only for bedrock edition and if you're watching this like two years or one year after this is made it um if it doesn't work then it's probably outdated just want to let you know but um so there is slash test for at e and that's if you're using an egg if you're using a snowball type in snow underscore ball and uh, so yeah just do that but i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the egg first so i'm just gonna go ahead and put egg back and this one you're gonna have to put a your a comparator running out of this command block i don't care whichever direction you want and if you guys are wondering why all of these arrows are facing in random directions they don't have to be faced in um, the exact directions that I'm putting them in. It's just that when I placed them down, they were put in that direction. So you can really just place them like this, like this, like this, like this, or like this. And it's really not going to matter what direction you face it in. Just want to let you guys know that real quick. And so, compared to running out of this one, do not turn it on, or whatever the heck this mode is called. I think it's called, like, trap mode. But do not turn it on that, leave it off. And if you want to know if this works, if you throw an egg, that should light up. And now let me actually go ahead and kill this. But, um, yeah, so you guys already can see what I mean by a uh, smoke bomb here. Okay, let me, how should I kill that? Thank you. Okay, so what you want to go ahead and do is slash summon squid that is literally it just do slash summon squid running from a comparator and then this one's running out of the comparator that's really it for that one and impulse and needs redstone yeah do not put that on repeat and always act like don't because if you do that um it's just gonna spawn in a bunch of squids and trust me i don't think you want a bunch of squids um okay so now uh, you're gonna have to okay this is only for an egg if you're doing the snowball do not do this one right here you do not need to worry about this command block do not worry about this if you are using a snowball now if you're using an egg do do this one okay slash tp all entity type chicken and then um squiggly squiggly and then tp them into the void so um, just do some random number that's really large and in the negative. So you can do like 100 or like, I don't know, like 800 or like 9 million if that will even work. Let me see. Did that even work? Um, oh my god, the lag. Okay, hold on, let me go and kill these, I'm sorry. Okay, so I, um, yeah, so just put some large number in and then it will TP them into the void and then they'll die. That's practically... How I oops, oh my God. Okay, so practically that's um how I get rid of chickens if you're using an egg. Um I would recommend using a snowball because um you know it's a little bit easier. Just wanna let you guys know. <clears throat> okay, that one's out of the way. Oh and if you guys okay, never mind actually. For this one right here, um you are going to 
do uh, a repeat command block or is active slash kill all entities type XP orb and why you need to do this is because when the squid dies um it will sometimes drop XP if you okay so when it dies if you hit it at all it will drop XP and if you want to get rid of that go ahead and type in slash kill all entities in brackets type XP or type it in exactly how it is on here so even the even the underscore and everything you need everything accurate okay this one is big okay actually hold on let me see something okay so this one right here I'm pretty sure these are all exactly the same aren't they no they aren't okay so um what you're gonna do is okay so go ahead and put in this slash execute all entities in brackets type squid squiggly 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 particle minecraft knockback roar particle type in exactly how I typed it in and three more squigglies at the end and what you want to do is do the exact same thing on a on command block is do the exact same thing on another command block so there's two command blocks that literally have the exact same thing repeat needs redstone oh actually put that to always active yes put that to always active i don't know why that was like that and uh, you need two of these if you guys didn't get that so do one and then do another if you guys don't want to type it in just get the cords of this one and then clone it to um another coordinate by the original um command box if that is even making sense to you guys okay what you want to do for this one is the slash ex oh my god I cannot talk I'm sorry I just woke up <clears throat> slash execute all entities type squid squiggly 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 particle Minecraft falling border dust particle and then do squiggly squiggly point five squiggly and that point five is really important because if you put nothing there like if if you did this it's gonna look really weird okay let me show you guys so. What that's doing is, let me go ahead and put this to needs redstone so it's not going to activate that. But if I go ahead and throw this, um, you see this particle right here? Yeah, this particle is what is indicating where the smoke bomb is at. And if you cannot see it, that's bad. Because um, another little feature to this smoke bomb is that if you hit it, where the red particle is at because that's like where the smoke bomb is supposed to be you can actually deactivate it okay let me go ahead and put this today so you guys can see a little bit better <clears throat> but um yeah so and uh, um already went over that one i'm sorry um okay i was on this one right here yes and so you want to have point five there and actually, don't put this in these redstone. Keep it on always active. I did that just to show you guys that one particle. Put it to point 0.5 so you can see it above the ground and it's not in the ground. And this one is the last one. Slash effect. All entities type squid. Invisibility. And then, um, whatever number you want to put here, I don't care. I put in a 3, because why not? And then do 250... I don't know why I had um, 50 there. That's the maximum that you can get on a, um, um, whatever the heck you call it, a, um, I forget what it's called, those effects, yes, effects. And also, um, at the end, if you're wondering why it says true, put in true, because if you do not put in true, let me show you guys what happens. Actually, let me go ahead and type, put off these real quick, so you guys can see it again. But what this is gonna do is, um, so you see how, um, it has particles. Yes, well, we don't want that. And if you go ahead and put in, um, <clears throat> true, so let me go ahead and type in true again. True. It will get rid of the particles. So, hold on. So if I go ahead and throw another egg here, if you guys can go ahead and see, there's no particles now, which is what we want. We do not want particles. Honestly, if you guys don't put in true, it doesn't really matter because it's literally going to be covered in smoke. So you're not even going to really be able to see it. But just for a little extra detail, just put in true. I don't know. And that should be it. Um, let me put these back to repeat. 
If you guys didn't get anything, go ahead and rewind the video. I'll go ahead and go on each command block one more time to let you guys know. So this one is slash test for all entities egg. Repeat and always active. Summon squid impulse needs redstone. This one right here, you guys can just look at it. Pause it if you need to. I'm just going to go through every single one. And I'll go ahead and show you guys um, um, both of these, how they work after. Okay. So, and also to remind you guys one more time, in case you guys forgot, do not put this command block down. Do not do this one. If you're using a snowball, I just want to remind you guys. And if you're using a snowball, also do slash type, do this command, but type in snowball oh also another thing that you also have to do is if you're doing a snowball is snowball is you have to go to the one that says slash tp yes right here oh nope wrong one it's slash tp um entity type squid to egg where's it at it's somewhere i know it is yes right here so if you're using a snowball, of course it's the last one I go on. <clears throat> but if you're um, using a snowball, go ahead and type in snowball here. Sorry, I am procrastinating. Um, so that's all you need. Oops. I'm Okay, why is my thing screwing up? Snowball. There we go. Snowball. And now you guys can see it. Um, hold up. Snow. Oh, actually, this, okay, actually, I think you need to take out the bracket. I mean, not the bracket, I mean the um underscore. So, I think you actually need to go ahead and take out um, the underscore on that. So, don't put an underscore, because I think that'll mess it up. Let me see if it works now. Yep, it works now. Do not put in the underscore like I did on Snowball. And as you guys can see, it's a smoke bomb, which is really cool. And this little red thing, if you hit it a few times, it'll deactivate, which is really cool. It's like in real life. If you were to, like, I don't know, like, hit a smoke bomb, like, hard enough, it would probably, like, um, deactivate it or something. Also, if you guys want to get get rid of these, which is kind of annoying, every si single time that a squid dies, it'll drop these. You can go ahead and do slash kill um, all entities type equals... Um, item and if you guys don't know what that okay so what you want to do is slash kill all entities and then go ahead and type in type and then an equal sign and then item and then another bracket type in exactly how I typed it in repeat and always active and every single time that a squid will die um, the ink sack will disappear and also any item that you throw down it'll disappear so if I go ahead and turn this off here if I throw it down you see how it doesn't disappear now if I go ahead and turn this on it'll practically make any item disappear so look at boop yep it's gone but um you can go ahead and do that to get rid of the ink sack um I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that or not <clears throat> but you guys can do that if you want and um throw it boop, and it activates after around like a half a second of throwing it and a downside to that to this that I do not know how to fix you guys can try to fix it yourself or look it up how to fix it I don't know but um and they'll figure out some way is you can only throw one at a time or else it'll kind of mess it up to be honest like if I go to and it'll also lag like crazy if you want to reduce the lag Go ahead and, uh, you know, these two that I'm talking about, the ones that say knockback roar particle. What you'd want to do is go ahead and type in, uh, is go ahead and get rid of knockback roar and go ahead and type in huge underscore explosion. Is it a, yes, explosion right there. That's all you want. Huge explosion particle. Or is that an emitter? I think it might actually be emitter. Hold on. Yes, it is emitter. Let me get rid of this. Okay, so actually don't do that. Go back. And go ahead and type in... Not particle, but type in... Emitter. Right there. And if you throw this... 
Yeah, you see how there's this new particle? Let me actually go ahead and get rid of the knockback roar so you guys can actually see um, the particle here. So if you want to reduce the lag, do the particle that I'm using. So if you guys can see if I throw it, you guys see how there's this weird particle? Yes, yeah, so we can do that. And also, if you're going to do that, I recommend um, coming over here and then putting a point five to make it um, come out of the ground more because um, if I throw it again, I'll show you guys. Huh, why is that not working? Yeah, I don't even know. Just go ahead and leave it um, as normal. I mean, whatever you guys want to do. If you guys want to leave it like that, you can. But, um, oh, actually, I screwed up. Go ahead and type in, like, two there. And then it should bring up the smoke cloud. Yeah, see how it's a lot taller than if I were to. You see how it's that tall? And if I were to come back, and if I were to get rid of that, how it's going to, oops, how it's going to shrink down. Yeah, you guys saw that. I'm pretty sure you guys did. Yeah, so go ahead and type in a two there if you want. If you're going to use this particle, I recommend using the knockback roar one. But if you want to reduce the lag because you're on, like, um, bad internet or something, go ahead and type in, um, this one, huge explosion emitter, and then put in a two right there. So that's all you guys need to know, really. If you guys want to go ahead and use an egg on this one, um, and you can also mix these if you want. You guys can go ahead and put both. So if you guys um, can see if I just threw that, you guys see how there's this one and this one. It kind of looks weird, but if you guys really want to do that, you guys can. Um, I think it looks okay-ish. It's not like, it doesn't really look that good, to be honest. But if you guys do want to do that, you guys can. It kind of looks cool. Um, um, yes, this is why I recommend using the slash kill all entities type item one. Because then you just get ink sacks lying, lying around the place. And uh, if you guys want to, um, do the egg, just type in, uh, egg, oops. I messed up. Egg. And then go ahead and type in... Is it here? Yes. Type in... Egg. And then that's it. Now you have one for the egg too, which is good. And remember how this... Um, Just want to remind you guys one more time. This little thing in the middle here. Oh yeah, you guys can also move this. If you guys walk into it, you guys can also like kick it around. Which is in kind of like real life. You can kick around the smoke bomb. And when that noise happens... You will know that the time is running out in the smoke bomb, which is cool. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. If you guys hit this, it'll kill the um, the squid, and then I'll get rid of it. And also, if you guys don't know how this is working, it's practically... Oh my god. Let me go ahead and put it back to one day. Practically how this is working is it's literally just TPing an invisible squid that has two particles on it to the snowball so when you throw it it'll TP an invisible squid and um squids don't move and they don't hurt um people so I thought that would be the perfect entity to use I was thinking about using a fox and then putting slowness on it but um I know that they can spawn with stuff um in their mouth already like emeralds and stuff and they can drop rabbit's foot which is weird I believe they can drop rabbit's foot um that's it for today's video if you guys enjoy enjoy this video please leave a like and consider subscribing if you guys didn't catch anything and have more questions go ahead and ask me in the comments below i will probably get back to you very soon because i'm lonely and um might come out with more videos in the future like this command block tutorials i hope you guys enjoy this and um bye have a wonderful day